In this movie we will explain how the products and modes work and how to create a new product. In order to do this we will go to the settings tab. Not all the settings are available for every user. The user rights for the settings tab depend on your user settings. Only a so-called super user can change all the settings. If you click the settings tab a new screen will appear with five new tabs at the bottom. We will start by explaining the first tab, which is a cold store tab. Directly above the cold store tab, two sub-tabs will appear, settings and product settings. Settings for cold stores are divided into two groups. There are settings that apply to the cold store and can be set for the cold store. Next to that, there are certain settings that apply to the product, so the fruit, which is currently stored in the cold store. Before we continue with the settings, we will take a small look at the top of the screen. Here, between the two arrows, you can see for which area or store the settings are. The name of the areas can be fully customized. By clicking the arrows, you will transfer from one cold store to another. It is possible that the settings screen varies per cold store, for instance, if you store different products in your cold stores. Next, we will look a little further down, just below the beam. You will see an icon with the term log on it. If you click this icon, you will see a new screen. This states when and by who the settings for this cold store have been changed. First we will discuss the four icons on the top of the screen. The first two icons allow you to see the changes within a certain period. With the first icon, you enter a starting date for the changes. With the second icon, you enter the date up and until you want to see the changes. After you've set the dates for the desired period, you click the return arrow. If any changes and settings have been made for this cold store in the chosen period, these will now appear on the screen. The screen is pretty self-explanatory. You'll see the registration moment, followed by the time that the setting was changed, the setting that was changed, the value that the setting had, the new value that the setting was changed into, and in the last column, the initials or login data of the user who changed the settings. By moving the beam on the right, you'll see more changes, if there are too many for one screen. We will now return to the settings for cold stores by clicking this fourth icon, the finger. Take a look below the log icon, there you will find the terms product and mode. The product is literally the product that is about to be stored. In this case, it is a product granny. To optimize the user friendliness of MyFruit, we have separated the settings that depend on the product from the cold store settings. If you choose granny, MyFruit will find all the necessary settings for granny. You don't have to check all the individual settings and values. For your convenience, Van Amelongen delivers MyFruit with a set of standard products. Van Amelongen will try to prepare settings for all your stored products and save these into your system. A drop down box will enable you to select the product that you will use in your cold store. Only a super user with the highest user rights can change individual settings and create a new product. We will tell you more about this later in the movie. For now, we will take a look at the modes, which are located beneath the product. All the settings for a product are divided once more into modes. If you click the drop-down box, you will see all the modes. Sometimes, not all the modes fit in the drop-down box. In this case, you can slide down with the beam on the right. After selecting a certain mode, you can see that the settings in that mode are categorized by tabs. In many cases, a part of these tabs will be invisible. 
The reason for this is the configuration of my fruit. If relative humidity sensors or moisture loss sensors are not configured, you will miss the tab water. If you do not have an ACR system, the ACR alarm tab will not be in the picture. We will now take a look at the tab with the settings that do not depend on the product. On top of the screen, five tabs appear. These tabs are like the previous ones. If ACR doesn't appear, ACR is not configured. The cold store specific settings will be explained in the movie detailed settings. Let's take a short look at the second tab in the settings menu, which is products. A product is only adjustable by a super user. We will not talk about individual settings here, but only show roughly how to create a product. For most users, Van Amrong has pre-configured the system with several standard products. Another possibility is that a Van Amrong mechanic or service provider will help you with creating a new product. A product is basically a database with categorized settings. It is also possible to load a product from a USB stick. To load a product, click this icon. Using a USB stick, you can also export a product. This can be done in XLS or Excel format. If you export the product as an XLS file by clicking this icon, the system will tell you that the product has been saved and where it has been saved. You can load and view XLS files in Excel, but you cannot import them back into the MyFruit system. That's all for the importing and exporting of products. We will now take a look at creating new products. You start by using the blue drop-down box to select a product which most resembles the product you would like to create. Next, you will select the modes that are applicable for your product. The selected modes will appear in the drop-down box. You deactivate a mode by clicking the cross. The settings for each mode will show by clicking on them. If available, the tabs will appear with categorized settings. Mind you, if you go to a new mode, no settings will appear. These will only show if you click the tabs. In this case, like before, some settings may not show in order to maintain a clear overview. If you have made all the changes in the modes of the products, you can press the save button. Because the product has changed, you will receive a notification with the question if you want to overwrite the current product. If you choose yes, the system will tell you that the product is saved successfully and you can click OK. If you choose not to overwrite the current product, a new window appears in which you can give the product its new name. Make sure you select the right name for the product. Your staff should be able to understand it. A keyboard will appear, which you can use by touching the screen. If you work remotely, you can ignore this keyboard and use your own. After typing a name, press enter. After a few seconds, the system will tell you the name has successfully been saved. And you can click OK. You will see that the name of the mode has been adjusted. You can only create a product if you are logged in as a super user. We now go to the scrubber tab. Over here you can find the user settings for the CO2 scrubber. On top of the screen you can find the name and the numbers of the CO2 scrubber for which the settings are applicable. You can scroll through the available scrubbers by clicking on the arrows on the left and the right. In this tutorial we will not go into detail about the general and outer ULO settings. For more information on these settings 
please check the detailed settings movie. We previously discussed the log icon in detail. With this function, it is possible to find out which user changed which settings and on what time. We will now go to the alarm settings of the ZO2 scrubber. On the left side of the page you can find multiple alarms connected to the ZO2 scrubber. Next to every alarm you can see a blue triangle. The triangle rotates downwards and two options appear. By clicking alarm type you can choose how you want to be notified in case of an alarm. In the standard version only internal has been marked. This means that alarms are only shown within MyFruit. External means that the system enables you to contact an external device in case of an alarm. In order to do this, your cabinet requires specific hardware and it requires a configuration. Only your service provider or a Van Amerongen mechanic can do this for you. By selecting a new alarm, a save button appears. If you remove the alarm, the button disappears as well. The other options you have are to print the alarm or send it via email or text message. You can save the new settings if you wish to. With the finger icon, you return to the settings. There are two more tabs at settings for the refrigeration and the general settings. These will not be explained in this video. Settings for refrigeration will only appear in case MyFruit controls your entire refrigeration system. By clicking the icon with the eye, you will return to the cold store overview. For other main screen tabs, we would recommend you to watch the other instruction movies.